Hey, what's going on guys, Sergeant's Tech Tips, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Linux bootable flash drive. Now, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to download the software here called Rufus, or Rufus, or however you want to pronounce it. The link will be in the description below for the software along with the Linux distributions. All you got to do is scroll down and click the Rufus 3.18, or the if it's different, just click, like if it's 3.19, just click that one. You just want the current version, or you can get an older version if you want. You can also get uh, portable, so you can have it on a flash drive and then you can run it, but I'm just going to download the this version here. Just go ahead and click save, and then it's going to be on your desktop. Sorry, not your desktop, your downloads, and then obviously it's right here. I usually just drag it to my desktop because it's easier to get to. Now you will need a flash drive for this, and I do have a couple of these left. I think I, yeah, I have three left. I'll decide on what one to use for which distribution, but you just need like an 8 gig should be fine. I would get at least an 8 gig. What you want to do is you want to uh, figure out which Linux distribution you want to download and install. But other than that, I think we're going to do Linux Mint for this video. Um, you can just go to linuxmint.com, other or there will be a link in the description below. Or you can do Linux Ubuntu. Both are really good distributions. So all you got to do is click download on the website here. This is called Linux Mint 2.03 Una. You can uh, choose between Cinnamon Edition, which kind of looks like Windows... You can choose between Mate Edition or XFCE Edition. I've always really liked Cinnamon Edition because it's got more of like a dark mode thing. So we're just going to do Cinnamon Edition. Uh, the size is going to be 2.18 gigs for this current version at the time of the recording of this video. So all you got to do is scroll down. Now these are all the mirrors. I usually download it from, let's see if it's still on here. It should be like Linux or like Linux Freedom, I think is what the website is. If it, 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 it Yeah, right here, Linux Freedom. I usually choose this one. I've always had good luck with this one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let that download. Alrighty guys, since the download is basically almost done, I actually chose a green flash drive. It's just an 8 gig. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download, uh, or yeah, download. I wish you could download flash drives. Where you can buy flash drives in bulk. You can get them for really cheap. I chose a green one. I'm just going to go ahead and insert that in the computer, which is the same thing you should do. You should hear the Windows sound once it... You know, there it goes. It's obviously going to say it's empty, and if I right-click on it and click Properties, it's 7.48 gigs, which is plenty for Linux. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you launch Rufus, or Rufus, or whatever it is. Go ahead and double-click that. The UAC is going to pop up. You cannot currently see it, but as always, I will add a window so you know what it looks like. Just go ahead and click Yes on the UAC. It's going to say, do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? Just You can click Yes or No. It's up to you. Now it's going to automatically choose a flash drive, and if it doesn't, you can usually just click this drop-down menu, like say you just plugged it in after you launched the software. Then what you want to do is you want to select the ISO image, which you can just go ahead and here, click select. It's going to bring you to your downloads immediately. Just go ahead and click on Linux Mint or Ubuntu, whatever one you decided to choose. You can name it if you want. I'm just going to leave the name normal because I don't need to change it. Let's go ahead and click start down here. Oh yeah, uh, I just do it in ISO image mode. This usually works the best for Linux operating systems. I think it's going to say this you, this image uses Sys Linux. Put the application. Yeah, just click, go ahead and click yes. It's going to download a couple things, and then it's going to tell you that all data on the flash drive is going to be destroyed, and I am not responsible for any data loss. Please uh, back up any data that's on the flash drive. Just go ahead and click OK. And then we'll be right back when that is done, and from what I remember, these don't actually take too long. Alrighty guys, as you can see, it is going to say ready when it is done, and it probably will make like a little Windows sound. I'll probably just include that in the video. But that is how you make a Linux flash drive. It's really, it's actually a simple task. I probably stirred my words and stuttered a lot it's because i'm extremely tired long story but yeah as you can see the linux distribution is on the flash drive and that is how you make a linux flash drive if you guys would like to see me install linux into like a virtual machine which i will be doing it on that laptop at some point i just got to get everything set up and actually have the time to do it but yeah uh thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like if you guys did not enjoy the video please drop a dislike I'll see you all in the next video. Please give me some ideas for videos in the comments below because I, I, I really need ideas. But I'll see you guys next video and peace out.